Hi folks, I'm Bob Strachan. I'm a solutions architect here at AWS. And in this video, I'm going to give you a demo of a new open source solution called Media Search. This is designed to help you make your audio and video files searchable using Amazon Transcribe and Amazon Kendra. Now, why would you want to do that? Maybe you've got audio and video files that contain speech. These could be call recordings from your call center, it could be presentations, educational videos, lectures, news articles, you name it. Um, but they contain information and answers to questions and you'd love to make these videos discoverable and consumable by your users in response to any questions or queries that they might have. The Media Search comes with two easy to install components. The first component is the indexer component. This effectively will find audio and video files that you have stored in an S3 bucket. It will crawl the bucket and discover any of those media files. And for each one that it finds, it will generate a transcription using the Amazon Transcribe service. This is our machine learning speech to text service. For each transcribed file, it then prepares the transcription by embedding time markers into the transcription at the start of each sentence. And then it will index the transcription using Amazon Kendra service. Uh, you can either create a new index when you install the indexer component, or if you already have a Kendra index, you can just specify the ID of that and reuse the index you already have. By reusing an existing index, this allows you to mix and match uh, media file information with other documents that you may already have in your index so that users can find answers that span media files and regular text documents, web pages, and other Kendra data sources. The first time you install the indexer, it will run to crawl the S3 bucket that you pointed at, and then it subsequently runs on an interval that you specify, and it will find any changed files, any new files, any deleted files, and maintain the Kendra index to reflect those changes. And then the second component we have is the finder component. This allows you to search the content that's in your Amazon Kendra index, and it looks like a standard search app uh, for Kendra, but it also includes an inline embedded media player. So in the case of where your query returns a result that's from one of these audio or video files that the indexer has, uh, has crawled and indexed, you'll get a little media player that you can click to play the media inline right within your search results page, and it will pick up the media file from the point in the transcript that's relevant to your search query. So it makes it very convenient to consume the media files that are returned as part of the search query. Very easy to set up and use. It's CloudFormation installable. I'm going to show you how to do that in the demo. It just takes a few minutes to install the indexer, a few more minutes to install the finder, and then you can find answers and insights from your media files forevermore. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the best place to start is with our blog post, which you can get to quickly using the shortcut amazon.com slash media search. The blog gives you an overview of the solution and gives you information about the architecture, the pricing considerations, and some of the advanced features. For now, let's go straight to the deployment section. There's a launch stack button here that will allow us to deploy the indexer component. If I click that button, it's going to open up uh, CloudFormation in the AWS console. So we specify a unique stack name. I'm just going to leave the default value for now. Um, if I had an existing Kendra index, I could provide the ID for that index here. Um, in the index, so we'll reuse my existing Kendra index. If I leave it blank, it's going to create a new Kendra index for me, which is what I'm going to do. This is the name of the S3 bucket that contains the media files. It's pre-populated to use an AWS-provided bucket that contains some public sample files that we'll use for our demo. But if you want it to index your own audio or video files, then provide your own bucket name here. Uh, this is the path within the bucket to where the media files are held. And this is the interval where the indexer is going to go and crawl the bucket again and look for any files that have been added, deleted, or changed since the last time. We've got some advanced options here that allow you to specify Kendra metadata for filtering or faceting, and some options for transcribe if you want it to use things like custom vocabulary, custom filtering, custom language models, etc. There's links to the documentation that explains more. So let's go ahead and acknowledge that we're going to create IAM resources, and we'll click Create Stack and now it's off and running. This does take about maybe 10 minutes to finish, so I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back and take a look when it's finished. And we're back. Just over 10 minutes later, I can see the indexer is now create complete. If we take a quick look at the outputs tab of the stack, you can see here is the ID of the Kendra index that it created for us. So I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to use it in a second 
when I install the Finder component. So we'll go back to our blog post, scroll down just a little bit, and there's another Launch Stack button for the Finder component. Again, there's a default stack name. It's asking me for a Kendra index ID. This time I must provide an index ID. Um, I just copied the index ID that was created by my indexer stack. So I'm just going to paste that in here, and that tells my Finder to use the same index that I've populated with my indexer. It also wants to know the media bucket name. This is so that it can set up an IAM role that will give it access so that it can actually play the media files in that bucket. Again, it's pre-populated to our AWS bucket. If you're using your own bucket, uh, you would change that name accordingly. And you can actually provide a list of multiple buckets if you've got multiple indexers uh, with uh, media files spanning multiple buckets. You can provide it here as a comma separated list. So we'll go ahead and acknowledge, create stack. And again, it takes you know maybe 10 minutes uh, to complete. So we'll pause the video and come back again when the Finder is installed. OK, so the Finder stack is now complete. Let's go to the Outputs tab. You can see here we have a URL for our web app. We'll click that URL and it opens up the search page, which is our Finder. And let's try entering a query. We'll do what's an interface VPC endpoint. And you can see here we've got some search results. These are from the sample files that were crawled automatically by our indexer when we installed the indexer stack. The finder is now running an Amazon Kendra query against that index. And you can see it's been able to answer the question from the transcription of these video files that we had indexed. And I can click the little play button here and it will start playing the video. It plays a video from the point in the transcript. Uh, where Kendra found an answer to the user's questions. If I scroll on down a little bit, you can see there's multiple search results. Uh, some of the results come back from audio files rather than video files. And again, there's an embedded audio player. Now, audio proxy creates the primary... And the audio there comes from um, our AWS podcasts, which were part of the sample set that we indexed. You may have noticed when we installed the indexer stack, we did provide a path to some optional Kendra metadata, and that's what allowed us to uh, populate this category attribute with the value of video for video files and audio for audio files. And you can see here how the search app automatically takes advantage of that to allow us to do filters and facets. And for your own um, media files, you can provide expanded metadata that allows you to populate custom uh, index attributes that you may have to find in your Kendra index with the data you supply in your metadata files for additional granularity on these filters. And as I mentioned before, you can also provide advanced transcribe options if you want to improve the accuracy of the transcriptions whenever your audio tracks contain domain-specific vocabulary. And that, folks, is the end of the demo. Please do check out our blog post, amazon.com slash media search. Uh, you can read about the solution there and install it for yourself. I hope you found this useful. Till the next time, bye bye.